Hey guys, this is Ben from bestverticaldunktraining.com and today I want to talk about fast twitch muscle versus slow twitch muscle. You've probably heard about this if you've been trying to learn how to dunk for a while. Um, fast twitch muscle and slow twitch muscle are really important um, to understand if you're trying to jump higher and just basically it gives you an overall understanding of what you're actually doing when you're training your vertical. So just a background on me if you've never seen any of my videos, I started off learning how to jump when with an 18 inch vertical, I did the jump manual, I gained 15 inches on my vertical in five months, I talk about it on my website, um, it was pretty amazing, I couldn't jump and in a matter of five months um, I, I could jump really high after doing the jump manual and then I went on to do it for a year and I, I give my full year's results from month one to month 12 on my website below. Anyway. Um, so fast twitch and slow twitch muscle. This is kind of an easy, easy topic to cover. Basically, fast twitch, think of this as it's literally a night and day thing. So fast twitch muscle is for sprinting. Um, it, it uses oxygen very quickly and it can generate power very, very fast. I can tell you that I can dunk several times and then after the 10th dunk, that's when your muscles start getting tired, dying out because it's fast, it's fast twitch. It, it, it exhausts that energy very quickly, but it can generate a huge amount of energy. And this is what you what you want when you jump. Of course, you want that balance of slow twitch. Like if you're if you want to okay if fast if you want dunking to actually be useful for you, you want to be able to do it during a game. It's cool if you're doing it during warm ups and stuff, but you want to do it during a game. That's when it's best. Like anyone can do it during warm ups. That's easy. But having that balance of slow twitch, which I'm about to talk about, is what you want. So. We're primarily training fast twitch muscle. Um, so slow twitch. Slow twitch is muscle that uh, wears out over time. Think marathon runners. That's an extreme case of slow twitch. Um, just long distance running in general. Um, oxygen use is very low and s the muscle wears out slowly over time and gets tired over time. That's the key. It's about endurance and putting a little, outputting a little amount of strength over a long period of time versus fast twitch, which is a high amount of strength over a short period of time. So the key is, and what I love about the jump manual, what it does really well, is it trains those fast twitch muscles. This is a mistake. I would do high reps, 20 reps, 30 reps. You don't want to do that. You want to do low reps, eight reps max, and you really want to hit those fast twitch, train those fibers. And I can tell you, you don't want to do this too much because you're going to have horrible endurance and then you're going to have to train that back up like I had to do. You want to hit fast twitch very hard and you want to also do a little running in between, do a little cardio. Um, make sure you're getting that long distance conditioning as well. This is very essential and if you just murder fast twitch and you can jump high as hell during warm ups, it doesn't matter because you're going to get tired during a game and it'll be useless. So that's a tip I have for you today. Um, train for fast twitch muscle. Keep reps low, keep sets low. Burn out your muscles and train that fast twitch muscle, uh, which is the muscle that's going to let you jump higher and dunk. If you wanna read my whole story of how I gained 15 inches on my vertical in five months, you can check out my website below or I'll annotate it right here and you can click it. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you want more videos like this. Guys, it's really simple to increase your vertical. People overcomplicate this. People give you BS tips online like, oh, eat this, do this. No, it's simple. It's sim it really is extremely simple. You just have to do the right exercises and you have to do it the right way. Hit your fast twitch muscles and the jump manual is the best program. I've tried three other ones. It's the best program that does just this. Um, but I go into more detail on my website, so you should check that out by clicking here or going below. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. And don't overcomplicate this. If, if you really want to learn how to dunk, you can learn. You can check out my website. But just take action today. You don't have to buy a jump manual. You don't need to buy anything. Just know that it's a simple process and you don't need to overcomplicate this. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much for watching.